Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and this is my mini desk desk organizer. In today's video, we're going to be building a desk organizer that looks like a shrunken down desk. It will be complete with places for your pins, business cards, working drawers, and a smartphone holder. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do for the construction of our desk is take a few oak wood boards that are at least four inches wide and cut them down until they're about a quarter inch thick. Just like these. I'm now going to pick out one of our nicer boards to serve as the top of the desk. And we're going to want to cut it down so it's about four inches wide and eight and a half inches long. Just like this. I'm now going to take this desktop and cut out a 1 by 2 inch rectangle at each back corner, leaving a quarter inch of material on each side. And that was pretty confusing, wasn't it? You basically want to do this. Both these pieces are quarter inch thick and then the gaps are 2 by 1 inch. With the desktop itself now pretty much done, it is time to move on to making the drawer tower compartments things. Basically the bottom half of the desk. To do this, we're going to start by cutting out two more pieces that are four inches by three and a quarter inch. We are then going to cut a quarter inch wide channel through the inside center of both of them. The key is to not make the channels too deep. Then cut out a shelf of sorts just large enough to slide into the channels. Absolutely beautiful. We can now repeat the process for the other side of the desk, then glue it all together. Look at that, it's starting to take shape. Next, I'm going to take these two little tiny wood pieces and glue them an inch into the shelf so that they mimic the top cutouts. Just like that. Now, not only will these help stop the drawers, but they'll also stop stuff we put in here from sliding forward. Next, I'm going to cut out a backing for the desk and glue that in place as well. After that, I'm going to take some more of our quarter inch thick boards I've cut to half inch strips and apply those strips as trim to the top and bottom of the front of the desk. And with that, the main frame of the desk is now complete and it is finally time to sand everything to make sure all the boards are flush with one another. smoother than a turbulence free airplane ride. Now it's time to make the drawers. What we'll want to do is cut out a base plate that fits perfectly in each drawer slot. Glue sides in the back onto the base plate. Slide it into its slot, then glue on the face of the drawer. Just like this. Look at that, one little tiny baby drawer. Now as you can see, the bottom drawers, although they are longer, they're actually a little bit shorter than the top drawers. But having the top drawers be taller than the bottom ones looks really weird. So what I did is I cut out all the faces to the same height. So the bottom drawers will have a face that's technically a little bit too big, and the top drawers will have a face that's technically a little bit too small. I say too big and too small, but in all reality, it does not affect the use of the drawers at all. It just makes them look better. And one other thing, since there are no shelves on the bottom to help hold up the bottom drawers, we're going to have to add in little tiny wood supports. That way when we put in the bottom drawers, they won't fall in. So with that taken care of, let's make the other drawers. Now although it really isn't necessary, I'm going to go ahead and glue on these little tiny wood blocks to serve as handles and really help complete the look. That is starting to look really cool. Next, I'm going to take this thin four inch long strip that's just a fart under a quarter of an inch thick. I rounded the edges on the front of it and glue it onto the center top of the desk exactly two and a half inches from the back. And with that, it is finally painting time. I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing brown because I think that'll be amazing, but if you wanna paint it a different color or even stain it, it's a free country. Oh, 
on second thought, something seems to be wrong with that spray paint. So I just stained and varnished it instead. While we give that some time to dry, we can build a few things for the top of the desk. First off, we're going to want to build a mount. To do this, I'm going to take an inch tall right triangle and glue on two smaller right triangles to the sides of it. Just like this. Then I'm going to take this two and a half inch tall strip of wood and glue it onto the front of the triangles. Like so. And with that, the stand is complete. Next, we're going to want to build a mini computer mouse and keyboard. To do this, I'm just going to take two small pieces of wood that are the general size and shape I want my mouse and keyboard to be. Then chisel and sand them into perfection. It really shouldn't take too much work. And we're done. Look at this. We have a little tiny microscopic mouse. I even have a little scroll wheel at the front. And then we have a little tiny keyboard. So now we're going to take our mouse and keyboard and our stand that we finished earlier and spray paint everything black. Now as soon as those pieces and the desk have fully dried, we can put them all together. I'm going to glue down the keyboard and the mouse to the front of the desk and the stand to the back middle of the desk. You could of course use wood glue for this, but I'm going to use hot glue in case I ever want to change the position of any of them. Just like that. And with that, the desk is fully finished and ready for use. I'm going to take some of my Ninjineer business cards and drop them in this compartment. Then take some of my pins and markers, drop them in the other. Dump my paper clips into the drawer. Maybe put some of my spare SD cards in one of the others. Then lastly, place my phone into the phone holder that makes the desk look like it has a little computer. Something I really love about this is the phone mount. Not only does it blend in with everything and make it look like a real scaled down computer desk, but it also is easily accessible if you want to watch movies, text, or really do just about anything at all. I also really like these tiny drawers. They're small and you wouldn't think they'd be able to hold that much, but they actually can. And having pins and business cards within arm's reach is always a plus. This is a super convenient thing to have around, but honestly, more than anything, I just love how it looks. Who doesn't want a mini desk? And there you have it, how to build a mini desk desk organizer. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And overall, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and please feel free to subscribe.